World Heritage Day is observed every year on the 18th of April. It's a day that reminds us and celebrates the outstanding universal, natural and cultural heritage found on our planet. This day also recognizes the efforts of institutions, organizations, communities and individuals working to preserve humanity's inheritance. Our natural world, ancient infrastructure, outstanding architecture, monuments, as well as our traditions are global assets and are part of all our heritage. World Heritage Day is celebrated so that we remember to preserve the legacy left by our ancestors and the unique diversity Mother Nature is providing us with. Please, let me remind you, heritage is also what we live with today and pass on to future generations. It is important that we realize it is an irreplaceable source of life and inspiration. Happy World Heritage Day. World Heritage Status is a designation for places on Earth that are of outstanding universal value to humanity and as such have been inscribed on the World Heritage List. These sites are to be protected for future generations to appreciate and enjoy. All of them are exceptional natural areas or extraordinary landmarks that have legal protection and are considered to be of cultural, historical, scientific or other forms of significance. Places as diverse and unique as the pyramids of Egypt, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador, the Taj Mahal in India, the Grand Canyon in the USA, and of course, Seychelles' Aldabra Atoll and Valladolid are some examples of the over 1,000 natural and cultural sites inscribed on the World Heritage List to date. In any country, all the nature gifted things are considered as part of natural heritage. Natural heritage include things like rivers, mountains, seas, wild animals, vegetation, etc. On the other hand, during the passing of human civilization, those arts and culture which were parts of the earlier phase of civilization still existing today have called the parts of cultural heritage. For example, dance, music, art, literature, social and religious rules and rituals, etc. As a whole, natural heritage is the gift of nature, whereas cultural heritage is associated with man-made things. Several organizations in Seychelles, such as the Seychelles Heritage Foundation, the National Commission for UNESCO, and the Seychelles Island Foundation work tirelessly to protect Seychelles heritage. These organizations facilitate law enforcement, take on scientific research, lead projects that take on threats such as pollution, invasive species, and more, as well as organize education and outreach activities. In many cases, tourism helps this protection in not only funding the work, but helping both local and international visitors appreciate our heritage. The Seychelles Island Foundation manages both of Seychelles UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Aldabra Atoll and the Valodimi. En tant que citoyen, de nombreuses mesures peuvent être prises pour aider à protéger les sites du patrimoine mondial. Les gens peuvent s'appliquer directement dans la conservation du patrimoine naturel en se portant volontaire dans des projets et des activités. Ils peuvent également visiter un site et payer le prix d'entrée, acheter des souvenirs ou même faire un don à des organisations qui protègent un site du patrimoine mondial. Il est important de se rappeler que lors de la visite d'un site ou de l'expérience d'une tradition, il est essentiel de respecter l'environnement et d'apprendre des cultures des autres, en particulier les populations locales et autochtones. Enfin, nous devons encourager les autres à en savoir plus sur le patrimoine que nous partageons avec eux et les bonnes pratiques nécessaires pour assurer leur transmission aux générations futures. 